In order to live stream your main camera, you have to add the game view encoder in your main camera option and change the capture mode from weather cam to main cam mode. For better performance, you should enable the fast encode mode with a sync encode option. If you press the pay button, there should be a preview image in your inspector. It means that it's working. Now, stop the pay mode and back to other settings. The next step is adding a networking system for streaming your data from one device to others. To do this, you have to create another empty object and rename it as FM Network Manager and add the components FM Network Manager. And please check the network type is server. Under server settings, we can untick use main thread sender for better performance by using multi threading solution. The last thing we have to do is passing the data from game view encoder to FM network manager. Let's go back to the game view encoder, scroll down and find the on data bytes ready events. Add a new event and drag the FM network manager into the box. Add the new function, FM Network Manager, send to others. This is the minimal setup of streaming your main camera view from server to others in the same network. For receiving your live streaming data in the local network, you have to add two important components. The first one is FM Network Manager, and the second one is Game View Decoder. In the scene, we can create a new empty game object. We name it as FM Network Manager. Add the component FM Network Manager. And change the network type to client. We also need to create one more empty game object. We name it as Game View Decoder. Add the component Game View Decoder. Again, for better performance, you should enable the fast decode mode with the async option. Once we have the networking system and the decoder, we have to forward the data from network manager to the decoder. Let's go back to the FM network manager, expand the receiver events, and find the on received bytes data event. Add the new event drag the game view decoder into the box, assign the function game view decoder, action process image data. In this demo, we can display our results in the UI canvas, create a wall image and increase the size to full screen. Then choose the game view decoder and assign the wall image to the test image pop. For testing, we've already prepared a server app. Let's run the server first and also run your Unity editor scene. If success, you should be able to see the streaming results in the Unity editor game view.